What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and in today's video we are talking about one of the most important things you need to know about Red Dead Redemption 2 that you probably don't know. So if you enjoy the video make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here and let's waste no more time and let's get right into it. Right out the gate you guys know me as Outlaw Gary and I am an outlaw through and through in Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't care about my honor. I kill, rob, steal. I well rob and steal are the same thing. I do everything I need to do to make it in this crazy wild wild west. But is being an outlaw the wisest decision you can make in your Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough? And the answer is no. Now at first you're probably like Garrett why would I not want to be an outlaw why would i not want to kill people rob people shoot cops well you're actually losing a lot of potential to your story and a lot of things that are available to you if you are a good guy rather than a bad guy right away i have to let you guys know that the honor system in red dead redemption 2 has a max rank so the max honor you can be is eight for i guess a good guy and for a bad guy or an outlaw it's negative eight now these honor points scale all the way to 320 and negative 320. But the biggest problem with how this all scales is this right here. At zero honor, when you loot bodies, you primarily obtain standard tonics, cheap jewelry, basic horse consumables, and used alcohol and tobacco. At negative 40 honor, when you loot bodies, the drop rate of dead eye tonics, thrown weapons, alcohol, and tobaccos increase and you also receive more money and jewelry from lawmen. But anywhere after negative one, you get nothing for being that great of a bandit. And it hurts. I am like the best outlaw. Dude, my whole channel is named Outlaw Gary. And I'm sure some of you guys are out there robbing, killing, just desecrating the lands and you're not getting rewarded for it now i'm not sure why rockstar went down this path but it seems like they really wanted you to play arthur morgan as a good guy and follow the gang's laws and rules if you guys don't know dutch and his crew have specific laws and rules that they that they abide by throughout chapters one through uh, four and those rules pertain to how you carry yourself and the things you do and don't do as an outlaw. The extremes would be killing random people or uh, doing things that are out of the ordinary of a bandit or an outlaw. Micah definitely, as a main story character, is on that line of like, hey, you go way overboard than you need to. And that's why, to Arthur Morgan, Micah isn't like the most favorited character. Besides the fact that Mike is just a weirdo in general, though. So after you see what you get for being an outlaw, let's talk about the different things you get about being a angel in Red Dead Redemption 2. Because obtaining these levels of, um, I guess, notoriety and uh, being that great of a human being in Red Dead Redemption 2 is pretty hard to do and keeping it is even harder. It's sort of like YouTube. It's pretty easy to grow on YouTube, but it's hard to stay relevant does that make sense regardless let's jump right into what will happen if you become a good guy in red dead redemption 2. so at rank one when you loot bodies the drop rate of potent tonics restorative items jewelry and food items is increased so that is similar to uh what negative one looks like but you just don't get money there's no money or jewelry uh, when you go up to rank two good guy you get 10 percent discount in all shops, which I mean, I guess it makes up for the extra money you get as an outlaw because you're getting a discount in the shops. Rank three, you get new outfits available in certain shops, which is all shop. Every single town has a specific outfit that you can only purchase if your honor levels are high enough. If you guys remember when I did my outfit showcase, I couldn't buy any of the cool looking outfits that they had available at the stores because I was such an outlaw or bandit. It, it sucked. Rank four, you get nothing for being rank four, but at rank five, things really start to heat up. You get a 25% discount in all shop. That's crazy. 25% discount can go a long way but it doesn't stop there because at rank six you get more outfits available to you which by the way some of the coolest looking outfits in the game now if you thought we were done we are not rank seven you get 50 percent discount in all shops that is crazy 
50%. You know what you can buy with 50% extra money in your pocket? Whatever you want. Personally, I have all the money in the world. I don't really need more money. But I'm just saying, if I would have known this early game, I would have been the most innocent Arthur Morgan ever. Because I would have been able to buy all my guns, a bunch of bullets, all discounted rates because I was broke. But now I'm rich. So I don't even really know. I don't even know if it matters. In addition to free outfits, you also get a component grip for the Cattleman's Revolver. You get the Hero Pearl Grip and the Gunsling Ebony Grip for negative four rank. So for Honorable rank four, you get a Pearl Grip and for Dishonorable, you get negative four. Now, the thing is, this is only available on the Cattleman Revolver or the Double Action Revolver. Both revolvers are very useless and game in my personal opinion not only that but you also have different interactions with people around the world of red dead redemption 2. And when i say world i should really say map but you guys know what i mean it's fairly easy to get lost and commit dishonorable acts throughout your playthrough but at the end of the day it's how you want to play this game if you want to be dishonorable and you want to kill every single person you want go for it i'm not going to stop you i think it's not a terrible idea but I definitely don't think it's the best idea, but I think it comes down to how you want to have fun. If you want to murder everybody, go for it. If you want to change your murderous ways and being a full out outlaw and bandit, I might have to even change my intro. What up federal fellow non bandits, non, it doesn't have the same ring to be honest, but if you want to change your ways, here is a picture on screen on how to do so. Earning honor is pretty difficult. There's different ways to do so, but the best way to do it is through missions while you're playing the game. Of course, depending on where you are in your playthrough, whether it's chapter one, two, three, four, or six, there are different ways to earn honor. In some cases, it looks like there's more ways to earn honor than lose honor, especially on chapter four, where that chapter alone has 35 honor points you can gain. But with the max honor score being so high of 320, it's going to take a while to get your honor that high. So what I recommend is two things to earn honor. One, donate to the gang via the tithing box in small increments, like $20. If you have a lot of money, just start donating in the, in the amounts of $20 and continue to do that until your honor goes up. Two, go fishing. Now, I know that sounds super boring and fishing is somewhat slow but if you enjoy fishing simply catch fish and throw them back in the water that will also raise your honor apparently which is really weird because you sort of need fish to eat and i don't know why your honor would go down when you even collect fish or go up it's really just weird the other ways to earn honor are pretty difficult because the, the way you earn that honor probably came from you losing honor an example uh peacefully surrendering to a lawman, I mean, yeah, I guess you can do that, but you probably committed a crime which lost you honor or you bumped into somebody and they called the cops. That could be an easy way to also get your honor up, but it would take a long time as spending time in jail, plus uh, simply just the loading screens and everything. Uh, it would just take forever for just five honor, so it's not really worth it. Overall, with ambient events for honor, it's pretty difficult to earn it. Um, easy ways you could just while you're in the city, just start greeting everybody. And just be extra nice. If you see someone, just say hello and do that with everyone you see. The more people you do that with, the better as your honor will increase for doing it. But if you antagonize them, then you'll actually lose honor. So make sure if you ever see somebody, just be some, be super nice in the city. Just say hi to everybody. Be that guy that everyone hates to love because you're so nice. That's the goal in Red Dead Redemption 2. And I don't really understand why, but maybe you guys can help me figure out why this is even a thing. Why is it that in a game where you are an outlaw and a bandit, you are rewarded for being an angel or a pussy? However way you look at it, because literally, if if you rob somebody in game, you lose honor, right? You, th that should be a great thing. That is what this game is all about. Robbing, killing, stealing, saying no to women at the brothels. This is what this game is all about. And I'm not being rewarded for that. I'm, at this point, I'm just ranting. And hopefully you guys can understand my frustrations because I've just spent the last, like, I don't know, 20 days of my life being this outlaw, killing people, ruthless. And next thing you know, I find out that I've been doing it wrong the whole time. I'm just, you know what? It's okay. I'm just gonna relax. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Drop the video a like. I already said that. Dudes, listen, right? I am just over the moon with how I am. My brain is just so scattered right now, all right? I'm just like, a part of me is upset that this honor thing is even a thing. Because I was reading my guidebook and I'm like, what? How is it? What? And that's why I'm making this video. And I want to let you guys know so that you're not like, just... You know, I'm just letting you guys know. And I'm also, like, super, super excited for the future because I've been looking at my numbers recently on my growth on YouTube. And my goodness, you watching this video and listening to my stupid voice right now are the reason why I am so happy. So thank you. Thank you for listening all the way to this point, for spending time with me on your beautiful day. I think it's a, it's a Saturday when you're watching this. I don't even know what day it is. I love you guys. Is it too soon to say I love you? I'm not sure. But regardless, it's Friday. This is a Friday video. Hello, Friday people. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Stay awesome. See you, dudes.